Hi guys, it's Shin Nogawa. Welcome back to Okami. In the last episode, we ended up going a 40 minute video to fight against Nejiko and Lechiko. But, learning about the true intentions of what happened, sadly, and ending. Sorry, if anyone heard that, hopefully the, the bling didn't. But, anyways, guys, uh, sorry. Focusing, focusing, anyways, let us start! Yeah! So, anyways... Atomarasu and the others return to the foot of Ezio Fuji. There they saw Laika praying intently. The storm had subsided. Then, as if to celebrate their hard-won victory, the twin volcanoes of Ezio Fuji erupted in great pills of flame. The villagers felt the warmth on their skin and wept tears of joy. However, Oki, Oki merely surveyed the scene <coughs> stolidly, remaining silent. Although the evil demons had been driven away, the thought of having taken the sword and caused so much grief weighed heavily on his heart. Start typing. The only one who could ease the burden of his woes is Samako. The chieftain who had rescued Kemu from the shrine step forward. Silently he approached Oki, offering an outstretched hand. His eyes betrayed the complexity of emotions behind the gesture. Oki, realizing the gravity of the scene, extended his hand in turn. The moment they shook hands, Wapkira was reborn into a village, far too strong ever <coughs> ever fall victim to evil again. Yay! Peace is restored! As for Kuton, the sword had vanquished the twin demons. It was returned to its pedestal by Oki's hand. As long as the glow remained, no evil dare drew close. The tone's gleam spoke of a power too great to succumb to evil at that moment. A brilliant flash of light shot forth from Kuton, striking squarely on the frozen surface of Lao Chi Lake. Though the lake had never shown any sign of melting, cracks, be cracks began to open up along the surface. The legend of the Iron Arc Yamato said to have, fall to have fallen from the heaven, and the holy lamb, uh, the holy Lauchi Lake, which called home, was revealed to be more than a mere legend before all those present. Huh? So light shine and water came forth, and uh oh. Uh, everything's vibrating, even my headset, because it's touching my hand. No! And oh, yeah! Whoa, that's kind of cool. That might not be cool. I don't know. Is that a good thing? Weapon? Shiny light? Alien abduction? Probably. Whoa, trippy man. Eh, rainbow. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. Huh. Where did everyone else go? Huh. Okay, I guess there's no going back at this point. Eh. It was worth it. Yep, it was worth it. In the end, I die like a champ. I mean, not die like a champion. What am I I'm crazy. I'm sick. Not really. Eh, uh, I am talking crazy like. Let's see what's everyone else. Oh, Semical and, uh, Oki. The Ark of Yamato. They say it fell from the heaven. It is indeed impossible. The wall of ice shall shatter and open the way to the heaven. When Kuton blows silver, the prophecy wall of ice is not the demon's blizzard. Rather, it is the ice on our front Purple. <laughs> frozen lake. Purple. 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 We don't want to talk to you, fat guy. 
You didn't do shit in this entire LP. Azumarasu. If that ark is the way to the heaven, then you must embark upon it. Though we have not known each other long, I can't already tell what sort of being you are. For you, the realm of the gods lies ahead. It is a journey to rest <coughs> the rest of us cannot take. You knew that, didn't you, Atamarasu? Yeah, I'm sorry, Oki. I feel bad. But the problem is... I'm going on a rainbow! Oh, that's not too lucky. Pesco, <coughs> cool. I'm scared. Pesco, cool. I'm scared. I'm talking to her. The Ark of Yamato! It's floating in the sky! Oh, I got How can such an enormous thing float into the sky like that? It must mean that the old legend says it's true. And then we're gonna go, whoa! Guys, 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 hopefully you're looking at the boat. You see what I see? Do you see what I see? Spider. Um, Spider Queen. Snake. Orochi. And a fox. Kyuubi. Legend about how this ark, which has sunken in Lauchi Lake, fell from the celestial plane into our world. Says the celestial, who fell to our <coughs> our world with it, were eaten up by countless vicious monsters. By the army controlled by the evil ruler of darkness, Yami. So the Ark is related to the power of darkness. Oh no! Who foresaw this? Raise your hand. Okay, you, 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 and you. Get out. Okay, spoilers. Anyways, guys, let us go on the magic of the rainbow. Goodbye, Capone. I wanted to use you, but you know, no hard feelings, right? Wait, wait, Amy. You know what'll happen if you cross this rainbow bridge and board the Ark of Yamato, don't you? I mean, the boat is bad news. People of Kamui all know that. It's the most hated and feared thing of all the land. Even the legends have nothing good to say about it, about it or Lao Chi Lake. You know there's no turning back once you go you board that thing. Huh? Looks like you already want to say something resolved? You mean you got the resolve to pass the point of no return? Do you want do you have the resolve? Well guys, we're close to the end of the game. Let's finish it on episode 69, Sexual Resition of Awesomeness. Let us go! I see. Well, I guess this is it then. Amy. Don't you go dying like you did a hundred years ago. Wait. Yishun's leaving? What? Yishun! Oh well. Why? Well, uh, no, I guess Yishun's coming with us. Yeah, but guys, if you look on these, each of them has different creatures from who we fought. There's the Spider Queen. Can't see that one. What is that? I don't know, it's something ugly. Oh, yeah, 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 that's the Crimson Helm. That's Orochi. That's Blight. I'm trying to see what that is. Uh, oh, that's QB. And the last one, right at the end, by the tip, is our final enemy. Sorry, spoilers. But anyways. The final boss, Yami. Well, wait a sec, Amy. Um, well, we've been through a lot together. How long has it been since we first met? It all started in the valley of Sakuya's chest. <laughs> then we we land the smackdown on Orochi and the fox wench. Well. We even went inside the Emperor's body and traveled to the bottom of the sea. Then, before I knew it, I found myself back in my own land. And now, 
It all ends with this appearance of the legendary Ark. But for you, it's just the start of an even greater adventure. Sorry, Amy. I'm afraid this is where I say goodbye. What? You shown? As I told you from the beginning, I joined you so I could steal those 13 brush techniques of yours. We found them all during our travels, and now each and every one of them has been <clears throat> etched into my mind. It's not like I've mastered them yet, but I plan on having loads of fun with my newfound skills. It's a bit sad to see you go, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Take care of yourself, pal. Aww. Amy! No, Amy! No! Look. You're a god. I'm a sprite. We live in completely different worlds. The road ahead may be tough one. But it's yours. <clears throat> it's one of yours that just have to walk alone. Aww. Don't do that! I, <laughs> I know. I know. It's just, I got things I need to do, you know? Now let's wrap this up. I can't stand long goodbye. Farewell, my furry friend. That's it! Hold it right there, Furball! How many times do I have to tell you... We gotta go our separate ways! Now leave me alone! You thick-headed lump of fur! Grr, grr. Whoa, whoa, who are you being all snippy? He's right, my daddy. Your way lies within this arc. I, uh, okay, I worded it different, but whatever. No! It's the worst enemy ever! This jag! <sighs> the slut. You again! At last, at last, the path to the heavens has opened up. Oh, fa <coughs> fantastic! How long have I yearned for this moment? Two hundred years? No, it must have been much longer. Bah! What are you babbling on about now, you big fruitcake? High five, Ishin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A path to the heavens? On what creepy old hunk of junk? What a fitting exit for a half-baked prophet like you. I have no idea what you're up to. And frankly, I don't care. I'm not a part of this anymore. So I'm gonna split. Have fun, you two. Aww. He's soon. Don't leave me with this asshole. Yeah. Afraid of the legendary arc, are we? Up, up, up! Ding! What did you say? Well, you must go, then go. Besides, only those worthy of the trip to the heavens may board. The fabled arc of Yamato. You never had a tick. <coughs> ticket, and you never will. Why, you witless two-bit half-big prophet! You're just trying to trick me into getting on that stupid boat. I'm not gonna fall for something like that. I'm no fool. So there. Wait a sec, I know. Maybe I should just hop on board your little boat. Yeah, and then I should tear the place apart as little <coughs> parting gift to you. Oh god, Ishun, you stubborn old go Yeah. I kinda guessed that one. That sucks. <laughs> Don't blame me. I already told you. Only those worthy of the trip to the heavens may board. But. You didn't need me to tell you that, my little bouncy friend. You know, 
very well why you can't board this ark. I do not speak the truth, little celestial envoy. I mean, do I not speak? Eh. Well, it's about time. Ishun! Ishun! Fuck! I had to put it in that lit. What? Ishun! No! No! My little furry friend! Have another prophecy for you. Listen up, because this is this will no doubt come in handy for you. It takes two to tango. The bond of the brush shall in <coughs> enter into the dice. Wow, really? I thought I would give you the long version since it was my last. Pretty good, don't you think? Those unwilling to fulfill their own destiny cannot board the ferry to the celestial plane. Life is about resolve. Outcome is secondary. It is resolve that determines the value of your life. You have no doubt met many such resolved people in your journey. <laughs> well, my little bouncing friend, I must bid you adieu. Shall we, ma chérie? We have a date with destiny. We mustn't keep her waiting. Can't let go of Ishiyan. Kinda hurts me too, Atamarasu. Cause Ishun's been there. No! I'd rather give this up. It's not right. No, oh, man! Why is episode 69 so depressing? I feel like crying and oh crap, no! <sighs> really? Ah, be right back, guys. <sighs> be right back, guys. Hey guys, welcome back to Okami. Sorry. Um, I just had to quickly do something, but... Man... Ishun, no! This doesn't feel right without Ishun. Oh my goodness, I can hardly believe it. My eyes have been enveloped in darkness all this time. But I know when I see a divine being before me. Okami Atamarasu, you've returned home. Eh? He knows us? I am Marco. Would, <coughs> would like to welcome you to, on behalf of all Celestials. Eh? So, he's the remaining Celestial being? Oh, I made a mistake. I said that you'd return home, but of course I was wrong. This is inside the dreaded Ark of, of which fell from the heavens. It's nothing like our wonderful home, the Celestial Plane. Alas, my old spirit remains in this world. It's been in prison here for many years. Perhaps it was my destiny. At Okami Atamarasa. I'd be grateful if you could bestow upon us a small gift. Not only for me, but for the others who succumb to death. In exchange, I will give you what I can. I'm sure that it would lift everyone's spirits. Give an offering? What will you give? Mm, demon fangs or money? Money. Let's see. No! Are you serious? I'm selling stuff. I'm sorry. This is like close to the end of the game. I'm gonna be a jerk and doing this on recording. Yep. And we're selling the fish. I'm sorry, guys. The 
Fish must go. Two kid. Because probably I'm not gonna do the additional thing. Eh, maybe, maybe not. Depends. Eh. I don't want We're close to the end of this pit. Yeah. Yep. You're like, Shin, what are you doing? You're stupidly mad! I know. Sadly enough. <laughs> Must. Get. The. 5,000. Gimme. Hey. Yes. Yes. No. Atomarasu Okami. I'm grateful. Blah, 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 blah. Exchange. Where I can. Blah, blah, blah. Gimme. Yimmy! Last and final one, the Tundra Beads! With that! Okay, except for one, okay, yes, I, I admit. It was kind of spoiled of me to just do that. But since it's close to the game, don't don't judge me that much. Much. Golden Ink Pops. Increases inks. Ah, I would want that! I only have 31 with the... what the poop? Sucks. A water tablet? Man, I would be like Jesus. Ugh, but whatever. Eh. I'm not happy. Two reason. Actually, no, I am happy. What am I talking about? Uh, ha, 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 ha. Hmm. Oh, you see that? Ooh. Yeah. Willpower of ice, combat of willy foe, utilizes thunder power, blah 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 blah. Yeah! Yee! I got it. I did it! So, we did it guys. We made it. And, well, we have a long path ahead of us, really. We are kinda not done. You know why, guys? Because in Okami, it is just like every other video game. By that, it means we have to go through all the bosses we've previously fought. Yep, before we can go up into the heaven. I'm guessing based off of uh, each of these pictures are each of the beings we fought previously. You know what? I'll do that in the next episode. You know why? Because... For episode 69, I guess I uh, have to make it the drama part of the whole Okami series. Because, you know what? I really like Okami. I'm not going to end it 100%. But I want you guys to at least enjoy the last... Beginning to last of the game. Where, in this middle, as soon as we defeat all these bosses, we will fight the last boss. Restore the world. And return back into the celestial plane. But without Isun. Anyways, guys, that ought to do it for this episode of Okami. If you like this video, thank you very much. If you're interested in other, like, these and other videos, go ahead and click the subscribe button. But other than that, in the next episode of Okami, we are going to finish off all the bosses we faced previously, but in order. So anyways, this is it for this video. This has been Shin no Gao and Atamarasu. I guess... No Ishiun. Well Ishiun, hopefully we'll see you again. Well, later guys. Bye!